Hello, Chen, and welcome back to part number three. No introduction anymore needed. Joe is still with me. Um, I'm yeah. robbing his time. All development That's is stopped right. because of me. <laughs> that, that's true. Uh, <laughs> it is. Yeah. So um, <laughs> we are now launching up, or Joe is launching up his uh, flight simulator to show us uh, yeah. the next parts or the next steps into the, let's say, bringing the development alive in the flight simulator. And if you have missed part one and two, I will link them somewhere here around and you can check them first and then come back here to part three to see what is going on here. But we will make a quick conclusion, let's say, about uh, one and two. So in the first part, uh, we did basically the model, let's say, right? So uh, you showed us how to um, get from a reference picture a good-looking model in terms of 3D modeling. So yeah, it's like a that, short introduction, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's not I comprehensive. Mean, it was, it's not comprehensive, yeah. but it, it gives an idea of, uh, yeah. of, the, of the workflow, yeah. Yeah, it was super mega fast and we kept some parts because otherwise we would have 55,000 parts and yes. that would be too much. Yeah. Uh, or maybe a kind of class with Joe yeah, where you can learn on, I don't know, Skillshare or whatever, but it's maybe something you can do whatever you would like for the future. Yeah. 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 And uh, then in the second part, we, we started with, uh, let's say, um, yeah, painting to say it in general, but yeah, um, to get a model a kind of look-alike and to go with alpha channels, etc., etc., um, with channels, etc., and layers and whatever, yeah, um, yeah. to get the kind of look-alike of a model like it should look. And he showed us kind of, let's say, polygon and uh, yeah, differences between uh, yeah, view distances, etc., to reduce the load on the user side. So um, that's basically what we did so far. And now my question in the last part was, uh, is there any chance to get it into the flight simulator and see the light lighting um, or brighting up? And we can see probably within a few seconds if it's... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take a look in the sim. So we are now back in the simulator. The, load, the simulator is loaded up. And as you can see on Joe's screen, um, probably a state of your simulator you I wasn't aware of it that there's kind of this extra screens to uh, let's say move around edit the stuff etc so basically that's the senior editor of the Microsoft Flight Simulator itself which comes with the simulator if you turn on the developer mode you can go through it and but that's not the case um, what we are talking about um, the thing is now we have here now the model you modeled and you can show us now or guide us yeah. how to yeah. bring it so, to life. Uh, yeah, so, so in the previous video, you asked if uh, if we could add some lights to them. Um, and we already mentioned that this is done by something called light rows. So mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Graphies, <laughs> light row. There we go. All right. Yes, so now you have your own light row. Oh. Yeah. So no statue yet, but you have your own. Ah, okay. At least there's something, yeah. Oops. Okay, so you just drag this line, right? So it's kind of... Yeah, just give me a second. Uh, something yeah. Stuff here. yeah. All right. Ah, okay. You can do even a path which is... Turning left, right, whatever. Yeah, so yeah, it's not yeah, only you a straight drag, line. Drag ah, this, okay. like, you can, we can do like a loop ah, to loop okay. here, right? Like so. Okay, all right. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's my light row. My, I, I mean, I can't, I can't be proud because I did nothing. But anyway, I'm, I'm still a little bit proud that I have. You, you at were least, present. Uh, you contribute with, uh, with your presence, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. So, now you see we have yeah, actually let me let me if I turn the light down a little bit here it's a little bit easier to see so we have this one yeah uh, actually what I want to do I'm not sure if you noticed but this is one of the lamps that has oop, you can see that the color is different yeah yeah so this is the the edge light of the runway that's you know uh, towards the end of it where uh, swaps to like a more orange. Ah, so, okay. Yeah. So I'm just. Ah, so the, swap. The, the not the bulb is the color, the, the cap is the color. 
Yeah, yeah. So you have the cap. As in terms then, in real life. Yeah. In in real yeah. life, yeah. But also, yeah. Uh, yeah so in, if we were to make this one, we would actually need to add two lights and point them in you know each direction. So that's probably going to yeah. take more time than what we what we want. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just going to swap. I just want to see kind of light. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. And I see already on the left side, you can say, okay, radius, intensity, duration, Indeed, period. Yeah. It means probably uh, yeah. flashing light. Yeah. Yeah. And so, face color, right? Yeah. And you also see that the, right now the light is, you know, hovering above the bulb. So the first thing you want to yeah. do is bring down the, this one here, the relative uh, distance, I guess it's uh, yeah. re relative so position. It, yeah. It's so probably think, X, Y and Epsilon axis, right? Yeah. 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 So it's for anyone that's you know done yeah, any sort access. of three D stuff, they uh, they they understand that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, fine. So and like you already said, right? We have these types of uh, we have the radius intensity, so you can bring this bring this up. That's going to increase the the well, bob the size radius. probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So. Uh, like this. Oh, that's a like. Yeah. And, and and you can uh, can you do me a kind of uh, pulsing light, something like that? Yeah. That, yeah that we can do that. What color so do you want? I request I request from now on on any on any Joel and Sinri a kind yeah. of Raffi disco disco modus, like party modus, a, where all the lights. <laughs> a pulsing green light on a runway. Let's do so. Yeah. Uh, let's do. Oh yeah, that's that's what I like. Yeah. And if you have so, uh, now imagine you have a complete runway uh, and it looks yeah, like, like a this. Christmas tree. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. And then we can, if you go into the light run now, we can adjust yeah. the spacing between the lights. Right? So we can do every, every five, five meters. meters. All right. Beautiful. Nice. Yes. I actually really like the, like the, uh, uh, yeah, the, the end. I, I guess you wouldn't call it like the engine, but the the light row system that they have in MSFS I mean, yeah. gives us quite a lot of you know uh, flexibility. I mean, you see, yeah, and, and it, yeah. it looks nice because the, the 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 cap, which is let's say glass or plastic, whatever, mm -hmm. it's even light up from the inside. Yeah, so um, the yeah, it, let's it say light like direction a little is, bit of a yeah. effect like that. Yeah, it looks yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, nice. It's nice. <laughs> Sadly, we, we we don't have any way to turn lights on and off in, in our uh, Yeah, so, so that's, okay, that's, why, have... that's also why you see the runway lights are always on, right? During daytime. Uh, yeah. All right. So like if if hey, everybody, if if you guys could go and, you know, ask Osobo to add that <laughs> for MSF 2024. That would, would be, be awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah all right so but so the only thing everyone, you can if change everyone is... just bargers them a little bit about that you know yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah all right so let's go and help joe and his team um to yes. to to get here kind of let's say more option to improve and um on the on the flight simulator side but what you could do for example let's say if you want to have a christmas mode activated in kind of configurator with the simmer comes with and then you say okay light bulbs are whatever christmas tree yeah blinking around yeah or halt uh, or oh, halt yeah german word or uh, <laughs> or um or let's say blue only yeah or whatever white okay no answer that means it is possible so uh <laughs> Let let us know in the comments if you need a Christmas mode. I don't think so. But anyway, all right. So the light is lighting. Um, let's say mm -hmm. we are happy now with the color, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay. Yeah. Is then in this stage, let's say the runway or or taxi edge light, whatever, finished? Yeah. So uh, you would then basically go around the airport and you would add all of the light rows that you need. Uh, yeah. Wherever you need to need lights, and you create different light rows for different types of lights, right? So you have your center line, uh, runway edge, taxiway edge, and so on. Um, now we did talk a little bit about the whole LOD thing, right? So yeah, uh, I did mention we have our own like, uh... debug tool that we can use to see which. So, let me... so we can use this then to see which LOD is loaded. So you can see here, this one, it's a zero out of three. So it, that yeah. means so it's three the steps? highest. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then 
Now, if I zoom out a little bit, it switched to one out of three. So that means it it did swap to a yeah. lower. I mean, you can even see it on the row itself if you go to the left. For if you zoom in, for example, that it's zero still. Yeah. Uh, the first one, yeah. and then you see up to the end, All it's the to three. rising yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, all right. And then ah. the the uh, number at the end here, the S, that's uh, basically the the uh, uh, we talked about the the screen space that it, it covers, right? So yeah. uh, in this case, it covers eleven point three two. Uh, and it, it loads the zero, so the highest LOD. And then when it, I think it's 10 that I set as a limit. Whenever it crosses 10, it switches to the first LOD uh, and so on and so okay, on. With this number, go, okay, with yeah. this number, you can, you can, you can, you can adjust uh, yeah. Yeah, what mm -hmm. kind of LOD model is, uh, not LOD, what kind of model is showing up in the, let's say, LOD radius. Yeah, yeah. So you would, you would basically go in and tweak this for every different mm -hmm. type of, of model you have just to to get a good transition, right? So you want to try and avoid as much LOD popping uh, as, as possible, yeah. So, I mean, of course, uh, modeling is one part, yeah, uh, as we have mm -hmm. seen so far, but often we hear during scenery development, yeah, the lightning, lighting is now the, 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 what we have to do. And mm -hmm. it is often to say, let's say, okay, we know now the scenery is going to be in the final steps, yeah. But yeah, if yeah, I see, yeah. Not not every time, but it's um, often. Let's say, or it was maybe. But it was, I, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. But even if let's say only about the lighting, only about setting up those guys in the right order, and then yeah, the bulb, etc., and the Christmas mode or whatever, yeah, yeah. Even that is a lot of work. Yeah, I mean, we did only this, let's say, long, little Rafi's line edge, whatever, yeah, yeah. Uh, row. And uh, if I imagine to do it on the whole airport, it is only this, this only small thing here. Is probably not maybe a month, but it could be a month easy work. Well, yeah, it, well, of course, it depends on the size of the airport, right? Like, um, yeah, I, uh, I just finished up like the, the taxiway center lines for Frankfurt, mm -hmm. uh, and that took that took a while. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's um, it is a lot of work, and it's it's stuff that you know is really visible or easy to communicate in like some sort of preview, right? Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. It's, uh, yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. it's something that's hidden. Uh, yeah, you need it. Yeah. You need it, but uh, yeah, nobody uh, gives maybe the, the or credit, whatever, but yeah, it, it goes under yeah. be, because there's other parts around which are more, let's say, shiny. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and easier and to, even, to show off than yeah, you know, like yeah. the, like a line yeah all right okay. so i think that sums up um this short mini series three parts uh, we have right now um uh, of this kind of let's say yeah how to develop a light and bring it into the sim and even to mm -hmm. be able to make uh, some light um a big thank you to you joe that's sure. um the the main thing for you having me for having no for your time being here so that's what i wanted to say yeah, yeah. and showing me up and i liked it very very much and as we talked already and promised in the last videos um there will be some series of course not yeah. showing everything you did on frankfurt but kind of let's say we a mixture between uh, last video about Oslo and now this, let's say, development stuff around. Yeah? So we can show the people around the scenery. And I'm very looking forward to it. And I'm very happy. And uh, yeah, thank you for your time. You're very welcome. It's It's been fun. It's fun to show off a little bit behind the scenes. With, uh, yeah yeah so I, I hope you I, I hope you didn't show too much secrets yeah because nah. if there were any developers looking they say oh okay that's he's <laughs> doing the scenery so all right <laughs> let's do it as well but at yeah. the end if the community community can learn from it i think everybody will be happy and that's the main point so thank you very much for watching by the way guys uh, like subscribe uh, whatever uh, you would like give us some comment and feedback uh, into uh, the comment section and tell us what you liked about the three parts and if you liked it and if you want to see more than this and what you want to see and uh, as well i would like to invite you to our discord channel uh, you will find the link also down below so thank you very much joe um, and have a nice week everybody bye bye bye